Hello, I'm Beanie here. You know that recently I've been covering a lot of Hong Kong market. The reason, if you note me, is that I think that there's a lot of opportunities in the Hong Kong market. If you have been in my training, you know that I'm tr trading on Forex, indexes, um, you know, the different stocks market, whether it's Singapore, Hong Kong, or US stock market. Although that I have to admit that I do quite a little of US market because you know that's my sleeping hours but the thing is that you know I, I don't like to waste things so for example when I see an opportunity I would just move in and I think that I see a lot of opportunity in the Hong Kong market and this is precisely what my video is about to let you know that this time around when the Hong Kong market is rebounding it might be different because of two factors um, but before I share these two factors with you I just want to share a little bit of a philosophy that whenever I invest or trade it has to do with what my grandma shared with me when she was still around right she said that Qian pa han, it means that in her own words money is afraid of loneliness money will gather where there are opportunities money will gather where other money are presented as well and and this is the fact that we know and I think that this time around when the Hong Kong market is rebounding in a very fierce manner and you can see the price quote today that it is still going up in a fierce manner it has to do with probably this factor here which is the inflow of money into the Hong Kong market that we see in the first half of 2023 and I think that we are still seeing a lot of inflow right now and these are just probably initial stage only that means we haven't seen the huge flow of funds coming in and we we are just looking at just probably a tip of the iceberg in terms of the funds that's starting to flow in Hong Kong and the Chinese market Right, please um, watch this video because I will give you two viewpoints of why I think that there's a lot of fire or a lot of room for upward movement in the Hong Kong market. Your question, is there a difference between this up? Uh, this time round in July versus you know for example last round I think that there is a huge difference here the fact that we are seeing a lot of outflow from the US market into for example the Hong Kong and Chinese market during the first half of 2023 so this is the key difference here according to the statistic right of international finance there is a outflow of from the US totaled about 1.6 trillion in the first half of 2023. So this is the largest half year outflow since the first half of 2015. In the case of Hong Kong stock market, Hong Kong stock market saw inflow of 105 billion in the first half of 2023. This was the largest half year inflow since the first half of 2014. The second market that we saw huge inflow is China at 78 billion in the first half of 2023. To make it a note, this is actually the largest half year inflow since the first half of 2015. I think that this data is suggesting that money is continuing to flow out of the US into Asia, especially Hong Kong and China stock market. If you look at the movement of the Hong Kong stock market, it has fallen about 50, more than 50% from the high. Why I think that you know, Hang Seng Index is supported is because it's refused to make a new low. So this is a very important criteria to consider. Right, take a look at Hang Seng Index. This was the high point here and then this is the low point here. When Hang Seng Index make this new low, it refused to make another lower low near to this low here. Instead, right, it make a higher low. Now the fact that it is making a higher low says that the bulls are not willing to buy at a lower price. It has to do with, for example, the start of this inflow here. Remember I said that since the start of January 2023, money has been flowing into the Hong Kong market. You realize that since the start of 2023, yes, price has been correcting, but price hasn't corrected that steeply enough. It didn't correct like what we saw during this period of time here. So this period of correction was very steep if you measure the angle of its dropping. But this current period which is about Jan to July 2023, that angle of price drop that means that extent or the speed of its price drop isn't as fast as what we saw before 2023 so this is a huge support that actually there are inflow of funds coming into Hong Kong and the China market 
Another reason why I think that funds are just flowing in China and Hong Kong is because of this piece of news from Reuters. It said that hedge funds rushed to buy China stocks on economy stimulus prospect Goldman Sachs. This was published on July 27. But one of the key things that's mentioned in this article is that the global funds snap up Chinese equities following Polybureau meeting this week. You remember the video that I did last week on the meeting by the Chinese Polybureau? Right. Um, the key thing is that there's a commitment from the Politburo to build the economy, uh, including certain stimulus. Right. We are seeing, for example, N Group and a lot of big tech being removed in terms of the tech crackdown. So this is the first thing we saw. And we saw, for example, in the Hong Kong market, the tech stocks are moving up very nicely. So with this, I think that the whole environment right now with the inflow of funds and with the Chinese you know, regulators are doing things to stir up the economy. So this supports the reason why funds are starting to flow into this undervalued market. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? One of the things I want to mention is that the inflow of money in the stock market doesn't mean that the stocks will go up. But if you have inflow of money in the stock market and at the same time the market is relatively undervalued and at the same time it is supported by, for example, the investors being optimistic about the future of the economy, then this rally can be more sustainable. Right now, we are seeing two factors coming together. One is inflow of money. Two, probably the investors are starting to be a little bit more optimistic with the commitment from China Politburo. And, and I think that right now, these are the two factors that will align together. And this is one of the reasons why recently the Hong Kong market is doing very well. It doesn't mean that the market will not come down to retrace to make a minor correction but it means that this time round we could see quite a nice reversal in the Hong Kong market at least for us to consider until the end of October. Right now is 31st of July so until end of the October could be a good nice three months of rally. Do let me know what you think of the content of this video for today and if you'd like to see other content do let me know in the comment below and please remember to click the like, the subscribe and share with your friends so that more people get to know about interesting ideas or money making ideas.